Princess Sakuna. Do you recall the Isle of Demons? Yes. It is the outlying island where your parents met and defeated the evil god Omizuchi. You are to investigate the origin of the ceaseless horde of demons as you expunge them from the island. Until then, you are banished from the capital. Welcome back, folks. I wouldn't call this a review per se. Um, it's basically me summing up the game and telling you if I would recommend it or if it's trash. Um, sort of a review because I am going to be giving you my opinions. It's just not too detailed as a proper review would be. Just want to talk to you about the more important things about the game, what's good about it, and if I would highly recommend it. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's hop to it, shall we? Oops, I just knocked some of my stuff down. <laughs> let's hop to it, shall we? Of my recommendation or disapproval of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin is one of those gems of a game that comes around every so often and goes unnoticed. Well, I wouldn't say unnoticed because it did pretty well for an indie tile, but you know, being an indie tile, I wouldn't be shocked if some of you didn't even try it. It's on both the PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, which I'm reviewing or talking about the Nintendo Switch version. I don't have the PlayStation version. But if you do not check this game out, you're doing yourself a high disservice. It's such a gem of a game. Uh, let me tell you all about Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. What's going on? Whoa! Hmm? Oh, please, do carry on. You needn't let me interrupt you. Still, how fascinating. Are you humans? You are, aren't you? To cross swords immediately upon entering the lofty realm. What a barbaric display. Go on, then. Get on with it. A day of tribute is such a bore. All there is to do is drink until my turn comes around. The game is about Sakuna, a harvest goddess who frankly is lazy and selfish. She's very bratty, to say the least. The beginning of the game sees her offering, giving offerings to the head goddess, but then tragedy strikes when humans who came into the god realms end up burning the rice. Thus, she gets punished, her and the humans, and sent to an in, in, in a land inhabited by demons. She, along with a cast of characters, try to set off to restore the island. Now, the cast of the characters is quite diverse. It has uh, like a samurai guy, a bratty kid, a quiet seamstress, uh, a foreign girl who seems to be from like Sweden, I want to say. Uh, the voice acting is quite fantastic on this. What exertion! My muscles cry out! Listen, you. Me and the samurai here are the ones who rode the whole time. However, the game can be a little slow at the beginning. You need to explore the island. It has a map where you can go to different places. But after a while, it really picks up. The combat, however, the combat is really good. I had a lot of fun with it, especially when I upgraded to different skills, like skill bashing, where you can send enemies flying into the walls. Um, combat can be a little bit challenging, however. Uh, it's easy to learn, hard to master, I would say, especially using the different skills that you get, more so when fighting bosses. Also, there's a lot of mini-bosses you can fight, too. They can prove a bit of a challenge, but it's, it's in a good way. It's not in a frustrating, you know, you're going to throw the controller down type of way. Um, you can get a bunch of different equipment as well. Like, I have this mask that glows whenever there's hidden stuff around, which is very convenient when you're trying to find hidden items. There's also another mask that lets you breathe through uh, poisonous fog, which is very useful on some levels. Now, food. Food is very important in this game. It also helps with fighting. Uh, the characters also sit around and share stories about themselves or about what you've done in the game at the dinner table. It can be quite entertaining to see what they say. Um, once you get your power, it uh, your power up, you can really mop the floor with anyone. But this is where farming comes into play. 
The farming in the game is surprisingly detailed. Um, the way they portray it is pretty close to how they do it in real life. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that because I um, I don't want to misspeak. But if you're really interested, I would look up Gaijin Goomba, who uh, does a very good detail about the cultural influences of the game when it comes to farming and how accurate it is. Uh, check him out. But to summarize, the farming is quite detailed. You got to plant them in the right way. Uh, keep the spacing evenly so that way it's not too far. You gotta use fertilizer. Uh, you can make fertilizer by getting compost and mixing it. And yes, that means the, the waste from the outhouse. Um, doing so will help grow good crops. Uh, the details of farming is quite detailed as I said. There's a lot to it and way too much to go over in here. Um, but if you do well enough at the end of harvesting, you can get good crop and good food. The writing is not too bad. Um, some might find it corny, but I thought it was well done, especially the voice acting. Um, it can be hit and miss. Um, I played with the English voice voice acting. Uh, the, vet, the actress who plays Sakuna did a very fantastic job conveying how um, bratty she is. Oh, no. Uh, more so as the game progresses, she ends up becoming more um, well-rounded. Uh, as I said er er earlier, there's the big level oaf samurai, there's the street smart, smart kid, the shy girl, the foreign woman, uh, the little kid that doesn't talk too much, but uh, they bring a lot to the table. Um, I would go into more detail about this, but I want you to experience the game for yourself. Especially if you decide to pick it up after hearing this, if I recommend it or not. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Yes, you can pet cats and dogs, and you can even pick them up and carry them with you. Take a look. There's a lot more to the game that I haven't covered. There's like a shrine that you can go up to 100 levels, and doing so get rare items from more, or hidden items you can find. Uh, there's a lot of recipes you can get, a lot of collectibles you can get. Um, overall, my opinion, this game, I highly recommend it. If you got the PlayStation or Switch, you should check it out. You'd give yourself a, it would be a disservice if you didn't. It's such a wonderful game. It's, it's charming. It has a lot of the things that I look for in a game. In fact, the game kind of, for some reason, brought me back to my childhood when, uh, my mom used to take me to Blockbusters and I would get, um, Super Nintendo games. Obviously, it's not like a Super Nintendo game, but it's really good. So, overall, pick it up. Well, that sums up the game. I really hope that you um, enjoy this. Um, I don't give points to games, really, because it's really subjective. I could give it a 5 out of 5, or a 10 out of 10, or 9 out of 10, or 8 out of 10, and it might be someone else's 10 out of 10, or 1 out of 10. You know what I mean? So... That was my cat. <laughs> Overall, I think you guys should give a chance this game a chance. Um, thank you for sticking to the end. If you like reviews such as this, please give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, not really a review, but a summary. Um, subscribe, hit the bell thing thing so it ring rings, and I will see you next time. Happy later.